Hey guys, this is Sam on Geek, and I did it. I finally bought the bullet. Uh, I found a cheap deal on an Elgato capture card. It took forever to get here, but I was able to do it, and I finally have a capture card again. So I can do streams. I can do video game reviews again, and I'm probably going to. Um, now that I've graduated from grad school, I now have some free time, and I could do video game streams or reviews again. So I just wanted to get some input from you guys. If I do stream, would you like me to stream here on YouTube or would you like me to use my Twitch account? I'm open to either. If you're interested in the stream, if you just want to see reviews, just let me know. Well, this is just a test capture to see how this will look. Um, I went on Link Battle and I found this poor girl. She was the first person I ever tested my stream uh, my video recording device with and uh, yeah I, I don't think she was prepared for somebody who actually uh, trains their Pokemon um, I I'm used to playing people who just kick my butt at this game half the time so I just went hardcore uh, I used to Powdon this is gonna be a Hippowdon sweep um, this girl I don't think she put any EV or IV trains um, I'm not sure though because there were some points later on in the match where she had items attached. So I'm not sure if she just uh, didn't have the right move sets to counter hip out on and she just didn't expect it. Or if she, you know, just basically played through the game and got all her shinies and stuff and she didn't really ever focus on battling before. Because I was just I was just shocked at uh, her not being able to predict some of my moves. Um, well, the first uh, indicator I forgot that she may have been a noob at this game is that she kept using Snarl on Hippowdon. And all of my attacks are physical. But, I mean, most attacks that a Hippowdon could do are physical. They're not special attacks. So trying to lower my special attack ability, I'm not sure why she would want to do that. Um... But I couldn't take this thing out in one hit, so I roared it um, to see what else she got. Because I know she had like two or three fire types on her team. And since I got rocks up, I was hoping to knock out the Cinderace as quickly as possible, if, if possible. Um, and lucky for me, it actually uh, went into this Duramatan here. And he got hurt really badly by those stealth rocks. And I was able to knock him out pretty easily with an earthquake. Uh, I basically I designed this Apowdon not to be really offensive, but to basically be a wall, something that uh, annoys people and uh, gets them to just keep switching out Pokemon into a Stealth Rock and for it to just continue to recover and, and be annoying. It's not supposed to be a sweeping Apowdon. <laughs> so the fact that I pulled this off just proves that the person, this person just isn't that skilled at Pokemon battling. I mean, the person must have some knowledge of Pokemon because they had to have brought over that Hippowdon from uh, previous games. You know, this person has a lot of shinies. And, you know, later on in the video, you'll see that there are some items that this person uses on their Pokemon. So I, I'm not exactly sure how... Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if they just didn't you know, properly prepare the team, or they wanted to try out some new move sets, like this Derakuda, or I think, yeah, Basculin, I'm sorry, not Derakuda. Uh, I don't know where the hell I got that. This Basculin should have taken me out. Like, there were several opportunities for it to do so, um, and it should have taken him out, but it just didn't use those opportunities wisely. I was able to get the slack off here, for instance, and it basically made this poor thing impossible to knock me out. Um, it just wasn't strong enough. It didn't have the, the the right EVs for it to take me out in one hit. But normally, if they were able to put the right EVs on it, this thing should have taken me out really easily. Uh, but lucky for me, it didn't. And, it, and like, it did some weird moves like this icy wind here that I just didn't understand. Like, Because later on, it reveals to have waterfall, which I think would have done way more damage than Icy Wind. And, uh, or, we'll see. I mean, would it have done more damage than Icy Wind? 
well, let's see what it does. I, I, he uses it. I mean, she uses the uh, the waterfall move right here, and uh, we'll see how much damage it does. Yeah, you see, that would have that would have done way more damage than the icy wind and the dive, and it could have gotten. I think it could have gotten me in two hits there. Now this is where she really, really screws up, and the first time I've ever played where leftovers actually saves my butt. Um, she throws out Cinderace here, and this Cinderace, you know, one, it's going to come in and soak up a bunch of damage because I put the Stealth Rocks. Now, those of you who don't play Pokemon, um, having the Stealth Rocks means that uh, anything weak to rock is going to get a bunch of damage when it hits the field. So, when it hit the field, it got a bunch of damage, and then plus fire is weak to uh, ground type attacks so one earthquake and bam knocked it out and i think that was their strongest pokemon using quick attack i don't know why it used quick attack literally anything more powerful than quick attack would have knocked me out uh but because it used quick attack i was able to uh recover there and they make the same mistake again so they bring out nightshade which is the umbreon and i think it uses quick attack again and even though they saw that Quick Attack on Cinderace, which is a much stronger Pokemon, wasn't able to knock me out, they try it again with uh, Umbreon here. See? Quick Attack. And I don't understand because both of these Pokemon should be faster than Hippowdon already, and they don't need to use uh, Quick Attack to get the speed edge on me. But for some reason, they she, she did that twice, and I was able to shake both of those off. So... After I was able to shake both of those off, I uh, immediately just healed up there with Slack off. Um, they got the bite. See, if, if they would have used bite, they would have knocked me out. If they would have used um, literally any other move besides quick attack, they would have been able to knock me out. But for some reason, they felt, yeah, like Swift would have easily knocked me out there. But for some reason, they chose quick attack, and that was their downfall. Um, and I could have swept the entire team with a pout on, um, but I got a little cocky in some places and just kept using Earthquake, and, uh, I didn't get knocked out with a pout on, but I ran out of Earthquake moves, as you'll see. But yeah, I mean, this poor girl, she had nothing that could knock the pout on out. Um, like, everything she could do, I would still have the ability to slack off and, uh, and recover half my health so she had nothing built for this wall this wall was able to just hold and <laughs> nothing she threw at it could tear it down i don't know what move sets she had because something should have had some powerful move but she kept using these really weak moves like quick attack bite um like this one is confusing here with me with Gig gigalith here gigalith used mud slap I guess what it was trying to do was lower my accuracy so that uh, it would be more difficult for me to uh, for me to land the earthquake and maybe it was trying to you know wait out my PPs on the earthquake. But then, I mean, it's still a pain in the butt because I have slack off and I still have five other Pokemon. Like, I I I don't understand why they wouldn't like try some last ditch effort to knock me out with whatever powerful moves they had. Instead of trying to uh, lower my accuracy so that my earthquakes don't hit. Uh, but that's what she chose to do for the rest of the game. Is try to lower the accuracy. And I would eventually get the earthquake off here. And I think i do it again one more time. And um, I'm able to knock him out here. And I felt really bad. I'm like, obviously this person's a new player. They're new to battling. Or they're, they're not used to playing somewhat competitively um so when i do the switch in i think it, like it, they bring out a, a viper and i know that it, it would be very powerful against uh one of my other pokemon and i just tried to play to the weaknesses of of my own pokemon uh kind of as a taunt but also kind of as a, a way to show a little mercy you see this person has almost exclusively shiny Pokemon. So either they hacked the game to get the shiny Pokemon, or they know 
Pokemon well enough where they they could uh, you know get shiny Pokemon. They're knowledgeable about it. So I I'm not sure where this person comes from. I I, I, uh, I usually feel bad if I beat a noob like this, but you know it's just it's just bizarre to me. I I don't know. I've never seen someone who has shiny Pokemon knowledge of items, but just doesn't know anything about EV and IV training, or doesn't know have like very powerful moves on their Pokemon. And like none of these Pokemon are in Gen Eight. Like a lot of them are, but I mean a lot of them. This isn't a playthrough team, so it, it's just it's just bizarre. This this entire match, this entire entire team was bizarre to me. Um, I thought maybe she had like a mean team when I first saw it. I'm like, oh okay, this person's gonna try a lot of interesting tactics and stuff. But uh, no, it was unfortunately just a person with uh, new Pokemon who I, I guess this was one of their first battles or something. But yeah, I was able to get the hex off here and the win. So if you guys are interested in, in more uh, videos, let me know what, what you want to see and uh, let me know what kind of streams you'd like. Anyway, send me a lot.